that police shooting down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. As we said, three police officers were killed. Three others were wounded when they were ambushed by a gunman who was dressed in all black. That suspect who was killed by other officers at the scene has now been identified as Gavin Long. He's a former Marine whose 29th birthday was Sunday, the day of this attack. Police initially arrived at the scene after a 911 call about a man carrying a gun. Investigators are now saying the tipster was not the attacker or an accomplice to that attack. We've got complete coverage, of course, this morning on the investigation, the victims, and the gunmen. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez starts us off in Baton Rouge. Gabe, good morning to you. Savannah, good morning. This is where police say it all happened, where someone called 911 and reported the gunman dressed in black fatigues, armed with a rifle. When police responded, he opened fire. And now, as the city mourns its fallen officers, investigators are pouring over the gunman's twisted digital history. This morning, Baton Rouge is grieving as we learn the identities of the officers killed in that deadly encounter. Brad Garofalo with the sheriff's office for 24 years. Matthew Gerald, a rookie with Baton Rouge police. And Montrell Jackson, father of a three-month-old with the force 10 years. Just before his death, Jackson posted on Facebook his feelings about being a police officer in Baton Rouge, writing, I swear to God I love this city, but I wonder if this city loves me. In uniform, I get nasty, hateful looks, and out of uniform, some consider me a threat. I've experienced so much in my short life, and these last three days have tested me to the core. He said, if anyone out there sees me and you need a hug and a prayer, come talk to me. The chaos erupted just before 9 a.m. Sunday after police received reports of a man dressed in all black, wearing a mask and holding an AR-15 type assault rifle at a gas station less than a mile from Baton Rouge Police Headquarters. When officers arrived, the gunman opened fire. Shot fired, shot fired. This morning, police say the gunman did not lure police with that phone call, but instead carried out the ambush after a member of the public called 911. We think the suspect is down. Authorities say the lone gunman is Gavin Long, a former Marine sergeant shot dead at the scene on his 29th birthday. On July 8th, Long posted a message about warriors on his YouTube page, though it's unclear if it's related to the shootings this weekend. The man knew he couldn't go home. Either he killed his enemy or he died. Was this an ambush? We clearly believe that the individual that targeted these police officers were specifically targeting police officers. All this comes less than two weeks after the shooting death of Alton Sterling by Baton Rouge police, followed by the fatal shooting of Philando Castillo in Minnesota and the murder of five police officers in Dallas. President Obama condemning this latest violence. Nothing justifies violence against law enforcement. Attacks on police are an attack on all of us. Alton Sterling's aunt making an impassioned plea for peace. We don't want no more bloodshed. Stop this killing. Stop this killing. Stop this killing. A sheriff's deputy this morning is said to be fighting for his life in critical condition after being shot in the head and torso. The other two wounded officers are recovering from non-life-threatening injuries. Man Savannah. All right, Gabe Gutierrez in Baton Rouge for us. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.